Welcome to Kwon's Corner. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to make bibimbap better. Let's get started! Annyeong, chingudul. Are you guys ready to cook? Today, it's gonna be special episode because we're gonna do ramen hack number four. Woohoo! I've been teaching you how to make Korean ramen better, especially shin ramen. But today, I'm gonna teach you how to make bibimbap better. So let's get started! So to get started, we need ramen pot. Today we're not gonna measure the water cause you don't really need to measure it. You just need enough water to cover the noodles. So get as much as you want. And turn your stove on high heat. And get your ramen and open it up. Let's see what they have. They have a sauce and a noodle. That's it. In Korea, there are different brands for the bibimbap, but Palto bibimbap is always number one. So if you haven't tried, make sure to get Palto bibimbap. Once water is boiling, add your noodle. We're gonna boil it for three minutes. And while you're waiting, let's go. Grab your drinks and get your favorite cup. Available in quanscorner.com. Mochi mochi. Say available in quanscorner.com, then I think people will get it. Say it. Mochi. Available in quanscorner.com. Good boy. Make sure to keep lifting your noodles so it can be more bouncy and elastic. After three minutes, turn your stove up and drain all the water. Make sure to rinse it in a cold water. It's gonna make noodle more jorgy jorgy. After rinsing it well, make sure to squeeze it lightly so you can let the water out. And put it into the bowl. And get your sauce out and pour them all. When you're making bibimbap, you have to sing it. It's like eating Kike without singing the Kike song. So, I think I sang more than 10 times in my channel. I think they should sponsor me. Once you mix well, get your favorite bowl and place it nicely. And our first secret ingredient is. Golbengi, which is a sea snail. This dish is inspired by a Korean dish called Golbengi Muchim or Golbengi Somen. I already covered it in a previous BTS episode, and if you haven't seen it, you can click here. In the episode, Jimin used the Palto Bibim sauce and he called it as a Mabab sauce. So it's basically the same dish as how he made it, but instant version. So get your sea snail and drain all the water. Place your Golbengi as much as you want. That's it! Our Golbengi Bibim Man is all ready to eat! Eating time! That's it! it smells super good! Get your gorbengi on top of the noodle and. 잘 먹겠습니다! Oh my god, it tastes super good! Bibimbap itself is very spicy. It might be not filling at all because it's just a little noodle. But since I have a golbengi, I feel like I'm eating a meal. I really like the texture of this dish. Noodle is very bouncy and elastic, but golbengi is really jorgi jorgi, like a chewy chewy. Goes really well. Also, since I add a golbengi, I feel like ocean breeze, 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 ocean breeze, ocean breeze. I can feel the ocean breeze, so it makes this dish a little fancier. I just finished my first dish, so move to next one. So our next secret ingredient is. Yeolmu kimchi, which is Korean summer radish kimchi. I will show you what it's like. This is the like a stem part of the radish and it tastes really good. Get your summer radish kimchi and put it on top of the noodle. That's it. 
Our Yeomu Bibimyeon is all ready to eat. Eating time! Last sip! This dish is inspired by a Korean dish called Yeolmu Guksu or Yeolmu Bibim Guksu. A lot of people know what cold noodle naengmyeon is, but not many foreigners know Yeolmu Guksu. It is one of the most popular summer noodle in Korea. So let's try! Oh my god, it smells so different. It smells way more fresh. Mm, mm. Can you guys hear? Texture is really different than the last one. It's so asa asa crunchy crunchy. The previous one was like a similar texture, like a chewy and a elastic, but this one is like a bouncy and a crunchy. It's so different. Oh my gosh, it's so refreshing and fresh. Your mugimchi adds freshness to this dish and it makes it feel like it's summer. I mean, it's not summer yet, summer is coming, but I feel like it's summer. It's so fresh and I'm cold and I really like it. Temperature wise, it's very cool and cold, but taste is very spicy. So it's like a yin yang or mixed match, but it goes super well. So let's move to next one. While it's boiling, we're gonna prepare our secret ingredient. So next secret ingredient is my favorite food, spam. I know some of you guys hate it, but spam is Korean essential. I think like Korean loves more than a Western. Open up the can and make sure press diagonally so it can come out easily. And in Korea, it comes with the lid, so you don't need to use it whole thing, and you can always place it back. We're gonna use one third of the spam. Place it back to your can. And make sure slice thinly. We're gonna try to make it crunchy, so make sure to cut it thinly. And slice it into half. And turn your stove on high here. And add a little bit of oil. Once pan is heated, place your spam. Once your spam is this color, ooh, looks good. Flip it. Spam came to Korea after Korean Wall. American brought spam to Korea. And that time, all the Koreans were like starving. So they started mixing spam with the authentic Korean dish. Like a spam plus kimchi jjigae made it like a bude jjigae, Korean army stew. After that, spam has been favorite food to Korean. In my previous episode, someone commented that it is known as a cheap food in some western country. Korea? Spam is pretty expensive and in a special occasion like a New Year's or Thanksgiving, we give Spam as a gift. So it's very interesting reading comment that Spam represents differently depending on the countries. Place your Spam on the side of the Bibimyeon. That's it. Our Spam Bibimyeon is all ready to eat. Eating time! That's it. It smells like spam, but spicy spam. That's what I feel like. Mm. Oh my god. Spam is like a salty, sweet, greasy. With the bibimyeon, it's not greasy at all. When I have a first bite, there's like a bounciness of the noodle. And then all the fat and the juice comes out and it balances it out. And it makes this dish less spicy and perfect. I really like it. This might be the, my favorite out of three. Mochi, do you want spam? Do you want spam? Is that why you're looking at me? Move to... Next one! Our next secret ingredient is Mandu Korean dumpling. We're gonna pan fry the dumpling. So turn your stove on high heat and add some vegetable oil. 
You can use any kind of dumpling, but I recommend you to get in a half moon shape because this dish is inspired by the bibim mandu, which is a uh, I don't know how they translate it, but spicy mandu salad. They always use this kind of mandu for the dish. And once pan is heated, we're gonna pan fry the dumpling. After a minute, flip your dumpling. Ah, no, 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 no. Make sure to get this color. Oh, 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 and wanna make it a little more mild, then get your sesame oil, add a little bit. It will make the dish more toasted and more flavorful and make it more mild and mix well. Oh, that's my Kwan's Corner tips. And place your dumpling on top. <laughs> that's it. Our BB mandu is all ready to eat. Eating time! Let's see! For this one, we gotta slice the dumpling. So, cut it into three pieces. And let's see! Oh, I'm getting full. Mmm! <laughs> Mm, mm. I didn't expect it would be better than a spam, but literally better than a spam. It's definitely more complex <coughs> and a more flavorful. Oh, it's hot. It's very cold, hot, cold, hot. Very weird feeling because noodle is very cold and the mandu is very hot. And I didn't expect to be this meaty. Even though they add a little bit of meat inside of the dumpling, it's so tasty. Since I add a toasted sesame oil, flavor is very toasted and love it. So let's move to next one. Our last secret ingredient is Samgyeopsal pork belly Turn your stove on high heat Just add a little bit of oil Once pan is heated, place your Samgyeopsal Add some black pepper on top That's it! Our Samgyeopsal bibimbyeon is all ready to eat Eating time! That's it! Oh, Korean barbecue is the best. This dish is well known. For the other hack that I just covered, it's like more like not many people knows it, but Sangyeopsal and a bibimbyeon is always eaten together. So to Korean is basically kimchi and a ramen. Sangyeopsal and a bibimbyeon. That's like a best friend. Yeah, so let's try. I take it back. Nothing can be Samgyeopsal. <laughs> it's definitely the best. So good. Compared to Spam, Samgyeopsal is more meaty. So it's more meat flavor. So that's what I like since I'm a carnivore and I really like it. I'm pretty sure Samgyeopsal is my favorite ultimate combo. But can I make it better? by adding spam in this dish or can i make it better by adding sea snails or can i make it better by adding dumplings or can i make it better by adding kimchi <laughs> this is crazy what do you guys think? Do you guys think I would like this more than my secret recipe? By the way, this is Sarah's idea and if you try it and if you don't like it and if you think it's disgusting, I'm not a responsible. <laughs> totally her idea. So I'm a good chef and you know, you try it and you like it. But this is not my idea, just so you know. I'm scared. No, I cannot try. Okay. Eating time! I'm scared! Should I mix it? 
Sarah didn't tell me how to eat it, so I'll be creative. Okay, put spam on the bottom. I'm gonna add a little bit of bibimbap, and on top of that, I'll add some kimchi. And on top of that, I'll put the sea snail on top. Oh no! Before that, I'm gonna put the samgyeopsal. And on top of that, I'm gonna put the sea snail. And on top of that, I'm gonna use the dumpling as a bun. So it's like a hamburger. <laughs> I'm kind of gonna puke. Oh, what am I smelling? <laughs> Too many things at the same time. Sorry. I'll show you close up, I guess. What if I puke? Okay. One bite? No, the whole thing. Whole thing out of one bite? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? The heck did I just have? It's not disgusting at all. Like it, it's super strong. Like everything is popping up. But spam is saying, I'm here. Dumpling, cheese nail, kimchi, bibimbap. It's all there. But you know when I explained it, I usually like make it excited. Like hey, we're here and make a harmony. We're a friend. But this is like doesn't go. Wow, like it was super greasy. When you have like so greasy food in your mouth and you wanna like brush your teeth right away, cause there's so much oil in there. That's how I feel. That oh, was actually good. Mmm, uh, mmm, mmm, mmm. I love you. You know how it is. Don't do golbengi and a bibimbap. Don't do golbengi and a kimchi. Do golbengi, kimchi, and a bibimbap. It tastes way better than I really like it. And three different textures go so well. Elastic and chorigi chorigi and a sa It goes super well and I really like it. Oh, why does it taste super good? Cause I'm drinking in a Quan's Kona cup! Ooh! Yeah, what kind of cocaine did I put? Okay, yo, super good! Mmm! <laughs> Mmm, mmm, good yeah, good, good. Kimchi spam rice is like a one of the best spam combinations, but this might be better than a spam kimchi rice. You can't eat it because you're vegan. <laughs> She's having a face in behind the camera. They could eat all, they could eat all, they could eat all. <laughs> that sounds super bad. No, 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 Mama, no. That sounds horrible, though. Ah, spam gulbengi. Ah, 이상한데. Ah, 이상한데. 아니 아니야. 이거 아니야. 이거 아니야. What? 이거 뭐야? 이거 뭐야? 아니야. 이거 뭐야? 이거 뭐야? I imagine that's what it tastes like. I'm like a pork, like start with a nice and feel like, ooh, it's like a month old or something. Ooh, this kind of smells really funky. And like, it's ooh, and they're like saying, don't come, don't come. Mayday, Mayday, don't swallow. And then Sarah says, like, swallow. Body was saying, no, Mayday. And then I try, cause I don't know, Sarah was telling me. And then they pushed me, like, go away. <laughs> 
So ultimate combo for me is a sea snail and a spam. You should definitely try. You will memorize that moment forever until you die. That's how good it is. Honestly, I think my favorite is kimchi and a samgyeopsal. But if I'm eating during summer, I will like a gorbengi and a kimchi more. It's more like cold and more fresh and I really like that. So you should definitely try spam and sea snail and if you try please send me through the social media facebook instagram twitter quants gonna something like that i'm gonna put the link down below what time is it time to announce chingo of the week so chingo of the week is angela gq if i'm pronouncing her i'm pretty sure i did i'm so sorry she tried my mom's samgyetang and it looked really really yummy and good i hope you enjoyed it keep cooking delicious food and if you're cooking my food please tag me thank you to all my patreon mechanoman krista thormage swekolin nancy robert samantha janet cylinder paulini lomi miss cheshire spencer kaylin lake mr mrs gavin zia krista thank you so much for helping me to make bigger and better content See you next week. Annyeong! If you say annyeong, I will give to you. Mochi? Mochi? Annyeong! Annyeong! Mochi, annyeong! Annyeong! Hal su iso! Hal su iso! Annyeong! Good boy! Annyeong! If you like this episode, please hit subscribe and the like button. And if you wanna see more video, it's over there and over there. And if you have any requests, Please comment down below. I'll make sure to cover it in a future episode. See you next week. Annyeong!